So, in problem 2.26 of Griffith Electrodynamics, you may have come across this integral. And this integral is actually taken from the solution manual. The reason why I put it here is because there was no clear process as to how they solved this indefinite integral here. And that's going to be the goal of this video. So I'm going to show you how I evaluated this by hand. So let's write the indefinite integral out by on its own. The integral of r over h squared plus r squared minus square root of 2hr all over in the square root times dr. So that's the integral we want to evaluate. Now the first step is we look at this expression down here. So what I did with this expression was that I made it into a better form. Well, a form that I can more easily work with. And so to do that, I used a method called completing the square. And I think you are probably familiar with that. And specifically, I'm looking at this expression plus r squared minus square root of 2 h r. Now if I rearrange it, so that way r squared comes first, this comes second, plus h r. And that's in a similar form to say x squared plus capital A x plus b. The good thing with that is you can convert it into a form that looks like this x plus small a squared plus b. Let's just call it that. And I'm sure you, you know how to do that. So I'm just going to write out what the result is. So, so the value of a is just a divided by 2, capital A divided by 2. And the value of small b will just be capital B minus a squared divided by 4. So downstairs, we're going to have capital R, and here we have A is equal to A over 2, which is negative square root of 2, H divided by 2, which is just negative H over square root of 2. So we have R minus H over square root of 2, that squared plus what b is so b is going to be equal to so capital b is h squared minus h squared over 2 so that's just uh, half h squared so now we can add half h squared that in a square root, r on top, dr. Now we have it in this form, I'm going to make a few substitutions. First of all, I'm going to substitute, because I don't want to keep writing this out. I'm going to substitute a is equal to h over square root of 2. We can do a u substitution. So I'm going to set u is equal to r minus a. And that will make it into a much more manageable form. So du will be equal to dr. Because when you differentiate that, you just get dr. Now we essentially have two integrals. 
one with this term and one with this term. And so let's tackle this one first. You can already see how you can do that by doing another substitution. I'm just going to write out the answer. And the answer is u squared plus a squared. That's the indefinite integral of this part. Now the second one requires some more substitution. We do a trig substitution. The substitution we want to make is u is equal to a, a tangent of theta. So of course we want to know what du is. du is just equal to a times the derivative of tangent of theta, which is secant squared theta d theta. So let's make the substitution now. Now that should be pretty easy to evaluate. We have we factor out the a squared, so it becomes a squared secant theta squared d theta over a times the square root of tangent squared theta plus 1. And this, as you know from a trig identity, is just secant squared theta. And so now that will be equal to the integral of a, so we cancel out one of the a's, times the secant squared theta d theta divided by the square root of secant squared theta. And now we can cancel out one of the secants, and we are left with the integral of a secant theta, d theta. Now the integral of secant of theta is just the natural log of secant theta plus tan theta. So basically there we have it. So we need to substitute back what a is, and what u is, and what theta is. So I'm going to stop here and let you do the substitution and check the answer for yourself. For now, bye.